going on guys? Teaspoon Miner here with a quick teaspoon of cryptocurrency for you. What I'm going to talk about today is Ethereum gas. So what is Ethereum gas? Um, when you want to transact on the Ethereum blockchain, when you send a transaction, the fee when you go to create the transaction to build it to say I want to send this amount of Ethereum, here's my source address, here's my to address, etc. When you go to build the transaction, the fee for the transaction to actually happen when you're creating the transaction in your wallet, the fee is displayed typically in either terms of ETH or in your native currency. Uh, whether that's USD or whatever, it will tell you how much that transaction will be, uh, how much it's going to cost to send that transaction and actually have it go through. Um, so as we see over here, I've got an article pulled up on my phone. I'm going to refer to a few things here. Um, so this says, the Ethereum network measures fees in gas. And what gas is, is that helps to measure how computationally expensive a transaction will be and I say that because the way that the Ethereum blockchain works is sometimes like we see down here it's sometimes referred to as a world computer because of the way that it's set up being distributed across thousands of machines that are spread out across the globe and so obviously to perform work across that world computer, if you will, um, you know, that takes compute cycles, it takes disk cycles, memory, etc. So to perform work using that world computer, the way that you pay for it is with Ethereum gas units. How do you interpret gas prices? So for example, if we see here in the background, um, you know, you, there's different gas trackers. Um, you know, you've got the Ethereum gas tracker with Etherscan. Uh, we've got ethgasstation.info. Uh, this one was shown to me just the other day. This is a really good one as well. Gasnow.org. Um, it's very real time. It refreshes every like five or six seconds or something like that, which is pretty cool to see fairly up to the almost up to the second um, approximate gas prices for transacting Ethereum. Um, so, for example, if we were to take um, an amount, and they all interpret it differently, you know, there's low, average, high, there's, you know, standard, fast, and trader, there's uh, slow, standard, fast, and rapid, things like that. The different trackers will interpret it differently, just depending on their own terminology, which is fine, but they all showcase it kind of the same way. Um, so, for example, if we were to go here to the Ethereum gas tracker and take the, let's refresh it, and then take the average gas price. Oh, it actually dropped. That's cool. Um, so, if we took this average gas price of 58 Y, um, and let me back up one second. So what is GUI? What is a GUI? So with Bitcoin, you, we all know that the smallest increment of Bitcoin is a Satoshi. And what that is, is that's 0 0.0000001 Bitcoin. And just like that, Ethereum has its own smallest increment of Ethereum and that's referred to as GUI and what the value of GUI is is it is 0 0.0000001 so there's an extra zero in there uh, Ethereum so what we can do to calculate an approximate average speed transaction fee to send an amount of Ethereum on the blockchain is we're going to go over here to our calculator and we'll do 0 
that's one guai. So if it's 58 guai, we're going to go back, back, and then do 5, 8 times. And the quantity of gas units that is typical for an average speed transaction is 21,000 gas units. So if we take this, 58 guai, we're going to multiply that by 21,000 gas units. So here we go. So 0 0.001218 Ethereum is our base transaction fee at the average speed. So then what we can do to calculate the approximate cost in USD or our native currency is go over here to Coin360 and refresh it to get the updated price. Give this a second to load. Taking its sweet time. There we go. So 2824, say. So we'll multiply this by 2824. Three dollars and forty-three cents, approximately, in USD, to send a particular amount of Ethereum at the average speed, which currently, yeah, there you go, three dollars forty-four cents, three dollars forty-five cents. So you can see that that adds up. So pretty cool. Um, for me, just honestly, just the last couple of weeks, I really. Um, you know, I've been dealing with crypto, working with uh, crypto kind of in the crypto space for the last several years. Um, I got started in, uh, what was it, August? I think the first time I heard the word Bitcoin was like August of 2017. Um, bought my first $100 of Bitcoin in, uh, I think, September or October um, at 14000 and then sold it at 19,000 and made like a hundred bucks and was like, woohoo. <laughs> and, uh, put that into my first, uh, building my first rig. But, um, yeah. So like I said, uh, the last several weeks, I really just kind of wanted to understand, um, Ethereum gas a little better. Um, because the cost of gas directly impacts how much we make as miners. So when, like yesterday, when we had gas prices clear up into the you know thousand guai and um, eight hundred guai things like that, our daily earnings as miners shot through the roof, which was nice. Even though the cost of or the value of Ethereum um, dropped something like 30, 40 percent, um, our earnings as miners shot through the roof because people were moving crypto like crazy, paying those gas fees um, because they were transacting on the blockchain. And those fees are what get paid to miners when we do our, our mining. And that, you know, when you see your console uh, with the miner rolling by saying, you know, a new job and you're doing your nonces and things like that, all that um, is verifying transactions on the blockchain, which is pretty cool stuff. So anyway, well, this has been another teaspoon of cryptocurrency. Uh, if you found it useful, I'd appreciate it if you could give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when we release new videos. This has been another teaspoon of cryptocurrency. Stay safe and mine on.